The United States Nestle Company has advised me that their research indicates this is actually an indirect attack on the free world's economic system. A worldwide church organization with the stated purpose of undermining the free enterprise system is in the forefront of this activity. Now, you can't seriously expect that. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll be in order. We'll be in order now, please. We'll be in order. Today, we'll focus on one small element of the problems. We'll focus on the use of a product intended to nourish life, to enable infants to thrive and grow, to see how it can have the unintended effects of fostering malnutrition and spreading disease. We'll focus on the advertising, marketing, and promotion and the use of infant formula in developing nations. Can a product which requires clean water, good sanitation, adequate family income, and a literate parent to follow printed instructions be properly and safely used in areas where water is contaminated, sewage runs in the streets, poverty is severe, and illiteracy is high? I'm the director of the infant formula program for the Interface Center on Corporate Responsibility, and in my capacity, I've collected a lot of data and I have um, presented it over the years to the companies themselves. Um, I think I'd like to just start in the Philippines because we've talked so much about it. So um, in some of our data we've collected, things like this have come out. On a Del Monte plantation, which is a worker's plantation, in the clinic there, uh, Enfamil is given out, which is a Bristol-Myers formula free. Um, Mead Johnson, which is the Bristol-Myers subsidiary, has practically equipped that entire nursery supplying bassinets, scales, clocks, air conditioning, etc. Um, in other hospitals in the Philippines, Nestle Corporation has name tags on the cribs of babies. The wristbands that they have also have the name of the formula on it. Um, in one hospital that we surveyed, where 90% of the patients were poverty patients, three companies, American Home, Wyeth Division, uh, Mead Johnson, Bristol Myers, and Nestle's had a closed marketing arrangement with the hospital where each company would be allowed 15 days in rotation to give out their free samples. Um, to quote uh, a doctor from Malaysia on this problem, which he, he discussed this at the International Pediatric Conference in New Delhi. He said, this is Dr. Abraham, quote, the milk companies have gained access to the health services in government and private sectors with advertising, posters, pamphlets, and free samples. These are difficult to resist because they are given free and to inexperienced health staff and seem only to be offers of much needed help. Uh, one of our investigators just wrote me from the Dominican Republic uh, a few weeks ago, about a month ago actually, um, where she was investigating the problem. And right across the hall from the rehydration ward, which is where they bring back the sick babies, there was a classroom. And outside the classroom was a, a little um, bronze plaque, and it said, classroom donated by Nestle. And inside, there were lots of posters. There was formula displayed, et cetera. 